All right, guys. Today I was just going to show you how we set up our lighting um, for service, um, at least how we set up cues and export the cues um, for QLab. So here we go. We're going to go to new, or we're going to go to track, new software instrument track, and we're going to bring this up here. And how do you get to that? Is just right here. Brings up a fader view. We don't want that. <laughs> We're going to go down to AU Instruments, DB Audio Wear, DMXs. Click on that. Okay. And then you can see in here we already have some songs already pre um, um, set up, you know, for intro, verse, pre chorus, chorus, all that stuff. All we have to do is just say when we want all those cues to happen. Um, let's put this back to zero. Let's move it up. Okay, now what we need is to duplicate this track, but how we do it so it's linked up, we go to track, other, new track with same instrument. Okay, so there's two tracks, but when we create a um, MIDI thing, it's actually being processed with one um, plugin one instance of a plugin. Okay, so what we do, let's just open up DMXs here, and let's go to our presets. Uh, we want it to switch to This Is Living, and how we do that is go into our empty MIDI region that we created by right-clicking and create empty MIDI region. And we'll just double-click on that. and We're going to command click on the first space down here, because the first space is the first space right here. So if we had it on the second one, it would be on this song. And so on. Third, that song. So let's bring it down to the first one. Okay. And let's hit play. One, two. Nothing happened because we got to change the channel to channel 15 on that specific MIDI note. So let's select the region. And let's go here where it says channel and then change it to 15. See you saw it switch down here. So let's let's do it again. One. Now is switched to the correct song that we wanted. And down on this other one, we're going to have our presets. So uh, let's go to this one. Let's go to the first cue. And we got to change this MIDI region to 16. This first one was 15 and tr tr uh, trigger the presets when you need to switch to 16. Okay, so you saw it went to blank there. You'll see it switch. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how we do it. And then we can just copy and paste this cue. Uh, some people save the, the cues, but for this demonstration, I'm just showing you how to do it, uh, f you know, from scratch. One, two, one, two, three, four. And I did the verse. Yeah, so and so on. Um, um, you know, for another part of the song, uh, you just keep moving this up to, so this would be the third mini note from the very, very bottom. Right there. Okay? No, it's verse. And that just triggers all your lighting looks for specific parts of the song. One, two, one, two, three, four. So there's that. Now, how do we export all this stuff? Once we've done the whole song, let's say we did the whole thing, we'll select the whole thing like that, select the MIDI notes like that, and then we're going to go over to um, export selection as MIDI file. Okay, and then we're going to let's just save it to the desktop and call it "This Is Living Tutorial" and hit save. Okay, so that's pretty much all you have to do, and um, you just import those tracks right into, uh, you export, this export that you have, you just import it directly right into QLab, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention was right up here, make sure to have the correct tempo of the song, so when you have uh, lighting looks, it's always dead on with um, the downbeat. Um, 
So just, you know, maybe look, if you're running things from multi-tracks, they have the tempos listed um, for the songs. So I just looked up This Is Living on multi-tracks, and it's 128. And I just put 128 right there, and uh, I'm able to edit uh, with things synced up with my lighting. And also, um, in DMXs, um, make sure to have your uh, bank tempo set to the correct tempo as well for the song. Um, so with your lights, when they're flashing and stuff, they're all set to the correct tempo. This is not really a DMX's tutorial, but um, that's something to keep in mind as well.